Hi guys, welcome back to the Captain Fishbeard YouTube channel. Today is going to be all about designing. We're going to be designing a t-shirt. I'm going to show you my process from the first sketch to the final piece. And this is a t-shirt I've been asked to design for the Little Heroes charity that this channel is in association with. So. So it starts off pretty much like every single other drawing or project does uh, in my life anyway. Normally these drawings are done in my sketchbook, but this one, as you can see, is just done um, on some paper on my uh, on my table here. So that's the basic outline of the, uh, the tortoise design that I wanted to, to draw. He's a superhero tortoise. This design, as I said, was uh, is for uh, the Little Heroes charity. And the Little Heroes charity is all about superheroes. Um, and uh, providing superhero comic kits to children in hospitals. So the superhero designs is very appropriate for the t-shirts. So the ink is going on over the uh, the light pencil lines here now. So you can see where uh, where I want to see the uh, the thicker outlines around the edges and some detail on the inside. This is going to be the first t-shirt in a range run by the Little Heroes charity. And then everyone's going to be done by a different artist. It's me up first. So then the uh, digitization. So I'd either take a picture of the uh, drawing, or you can scan it in using a, using a scanner if you have one of those. And what I'm going to do here now is digitally ink. So the inking that you saw me doing earlier on with the uh, with the pen is literally replicated. Um, on a, uh, a drawing tablet with uh, with a digital brush rather than a brush pen that I was using earlier on. So as you can see, the outlines uh, follow exactly the same outlines as I did with the pen, and it looks pretty similar as well. There's obviously some thicker lines and some thinner lines because the uh, the uh, the pad that I'm using, drawing pad, is pressure sensitive. So if I press harder, I get a thicker line, much as you would with a felt tip pen. Um, exactly like we uh, we use the brush pens. Um, to, to do the thicker and thinner lines uh, on these projects, so they can see you can see there there's some there's some larger lines around the outside. And the beauty of these digital ones is not only can you uh, redo them if you make a mistake, uh, you can also make the lines thicker or thinner as well. So you can see that I've got the basic shapes out here now, doing his sort of ribs on the uh, uh, on the inside of him, and uh, yeah. So you know, if uh, if we need to uh, to edit these to uh, to generally make out li outside lines thicker, which is generally the style that I uh, that I work to, especially when it's um, uh, something like a t-shirt design where there is a real really prominent design in the middle of things, um, we generally like to have big bold outlines on the uh, on the side of those. That generally makes things look better and stand out nicely. So yeah, just fin finishing touches on his on his cape there, but a few creases in. This is done uh, via um, a piece of software called uh, Adobe Illustrator, but there's plenty of different ones out there that you can uh, you can use if you do uh, delve into the world of using a, a drawing tablet to to create art. Um, there are lots of free ones on the uh, on the internet that you can you can get. Um, I'm going to leave you with the uh, the rest of this uh, rest of this drawing, and I'll I'll come back to you at the next stage. So it needs a bit of colour, so I'm going to select the right colour for a tortoise here, which is obviously one of these, um, and I'm just going to select where I'm going to uh, apply the colour there, so you can see that I've left the uh, the outlines uh, on a separate layer, you can separate layers on here, so I've kept the, uh, the outlines on a separate one of those, so I can work kind of underneath those lines to fill in all the colour. It's just exactly the same as colouring in, um, but on a, on a digital platform you can uh, you can cheat a little bit so you don't go over the lines and uh, keep everything within those black lines. So that's the basic colour for the tortoise. He's gone in uh, a lovely sort of 
uh, relatively dark green, and I want a darker one for uh, for his eyebrows to go across those. And then I'm going to do a bit of shading once all the uh, once all the base colours are down as well. This process formerly is known as flatting, where you're just putting all the base colours down um, for before you put any any shading or uh, or um, highlights in as well. So which which I'm going to do in a moment. So I'm just doing his his cape now, sort of golden colour on the cape. And that'll be the same for uh, for, the, for the rest of his body as well um, until we get to the uh, the shading and highlighting phase. There we go. I've started to uh, to shade the cape there as well a little bit earlier. So a little bit of highlight on the top there, so some lights catching the top of it. regularly saving my work as well. I've learned the hard way that uh, you have to very regularly have the impulse to save the work so you don't lose anything if the uh, if the power goes out or uh, some sort of fault kicks in. This is really what I was talking about with highlighting. So the the light source we're imagining is coming from the top, as you can see from the uh, from the highlights on the cape. So obviously the top of his head and around the outside there will have some uh, some highlights on them as well. So his uh, his sort of nose and muzzle piece will be uh, uh, protruding a little bit there, so catching a little bit of light on the sides there. And this uh, this effect is called rim light, where you put things uh, a little bit sort of lighter colour around the edges, and it makes things look a lot more uh, sort of three D. It uh, really gives uh, gives your drawings a bit more texture. So now that the main character's done, what I'm doing now is just putting in a little bit of uh, light in the background. So we've got some pink lights and some blue lights there behind, just to make him look a bit more uh, dramatic and a bit more fun in the background there. And um, what I've done there is I've put some uh, some sort of uh, faded light effects, some sort of rays effect, uh, which we'll see when I change the background colour in a moment. Um, and what I'm, also what I'm doing is uh, taking some of the uh, the pink light and the blue light from behind what I'm about to do in a moment uh, and put that on the edges of the tortoise just so that the uh, some of that light behind looks like it's reflecting on him around the uh, around his edges so I'm just using an airbrush effect on there to, uh, to sort of dapple the light across him um, and then I'll be moving that uh, mo moving this design forward so it looks really like it's uh, reflecting off of his his skin So there he is with a dark background, you can really see the light coming through there, so if that was printed on a black t-shirt that's what that one would look like. Um, so yeah, the colours really do pop on a, on a black background. Um, and there, there it is on red, and a sort of purple, blue, going through all sorts of different ones here so uh, you can see which one uh, you think looks best. Settled on blue for our example here. So there we have it. I've put a bit of text on there to uh, to make it look super superhero-y. Um, this particular tortoise superhero is called Shell Shock, as you can see from uh, from the writing that's that's gone on there as well. This T-shirt will be available from Little Heroes very soon.